The good news, midterm rental investing long distance does not have to be that different or complex from the short term rental operations and systems you need to have. However, there is one additional critical component that if you do not do will lead to extreme failure. Now, what could this be? So let's just take a step back with what is the actual infrastructure that I need to have if I'm going to do this model long distance can it even be done long distance the answer is yes and yes so let's talk about it what is it so let's go back to the core fundamentals what we love to invest in our assets that are in a four to five bedroom range they're fully furnished and fully smart what does that mean? What is a smart home? A smart home is one that is leaning into the technology to the days that we have in this day and age where you can control, unlock your home from a phone. You can control the temperature from the phone and let someone in from the phone. But we don't ever let anybody in. And I'll tell you why in a second. Well, here it is. While on the short term rental side, the infrastructure is one or less the same. There is a fundamental difference that will be critical before you even close the deal. But before I get there, let's talk about some critical components that are still very true to this day and age with the midterm mental strategy. So one of the things we want to focus on is having a smart home, the actual asset. But if we take a step back further, it's the digital presentation. We still want to invest in professional photography because in this day and age, you're the asset that you build on first is your digital asset. It's what people see online. It's what makes them click. It's what makes them want to look at your property. It's what makes your property, I should say, stand apart from the ones that are on furnish finder or even on airbnb so professional photography is number one not so much a tech stack but still very critical when it comes to user interface if you're currently getting value from watching this video you'll want to make sure you take a second and click below to grab the midterm rental insurance blueprint to help accelerate your process in being able to land these midterm rental insurance contracts with respect to your marketplace make sure you click the button below and grab it and continue on with the gems in this video. You're gonna then wanna make sure that you live everywhere. You wanna leverage Airbnb, you wanna have a listing that speaks specifically to your avatar as well. You wanna make sure you call out all the utilities, the all the amenities, the utilities inclusions, uh, all of the above for the midterm rental, but then the fundamentals are still there. You wanna have a property management software. There's multiple out there, whether it's owner res or hospitable. We use Guesty for host. That's one PMS. The property management software tool is critical because especially if you book offline, you're going to want to make sure uh, when I say offline, I mean outside of the OTAs like booking.com, VRBO and Airbnb, you're going to want to make sure you can still have your calendars sync appropriately and be able to create a direct booking, right? So these PMS software is like Guesty for Host allows you to do that. Then you want a dynamic pricing tool. Uh, you're still going to want to have a dynamic pricing tool, not so much for your MTR listing, but for your other hybrid SDR listing. If you know anything about me, you know I'm a sucker for having your listings duplicate when you duplicate it. When you have one SDR listing, you also want to have the equivalent of an MTR listing. That is how you're able to create availability. So that's your tech stack. You have the PMS, you have your dynamic pricing tool. And, and then what you're going to want to have is your pricing tool is, is going to be used. Your PMS is going to be used. You still want to integrate with all the OTAs. And then you're going to want to make sure your home is a smart system, smart locks. Uh, you want to integrate your smart lock system with your PMS. So we have Schlage. We use all the Schlage locks that we integrate with our guestie for host PMS. That way we can create logs etc open the door lock it create new codes for cleaners create new codes for temporary guests you name it right we have the ability to do that for cleaners handyman you name it the entire team plumber you name it right but then fundamentally you're also going to want to make sure that you have a security system a security system call it like an adt uh, i know there's multiple systems out there we use adt and for one strict reason as well if someone were to ever overstay or if we ever sensed any movement movement in the home we would actually arm the home as a way the movement would trigger uh, the alarm to go off which would then send directly the police to the house that is like having the police on your team. So critical when you're out of state, when you don't know what's going on, you might not know if someone's in the house or not. It's very important that you have this system enabled and active and running. It is worth the investment. Do not be a penny wise and a dollar foolish. You also wanna have 
ring, floodlights, doorbells. You can have as many cameras as you wish on the outside of the property. Of course, ring has, we've only had a great relationship with them. The Google uh, nest as well. Although I do like the hardwired option rather than having the option that's not hardwired. All this allows you to have a property home that is fully smart, integrated, and it's almost as if the property in itself has eyes behind eyes, eyes when you're not there, you're allowed to see who's coming in and out, etc. Okay, very critical for you to have all those items. And another one additionally is when you put all this together, you're then able to have an operation in place that at least gives you a smart home that you can feel is well equipped to then run your operation whether short-term rental mid-term rental or the hybrid which is a combination of the two now the critical thing that i want to add in there that the short-term rental industry does not have to worry about as often is the who you always want to have a person in my opinion the best is to have a realtor that opens up and closes doors not because guests can't get in there themselves it's because in the mid-term rental insurance space typically we will have a guest walk the property before they give the green light to their insurance company for the approval to stay at the home the reason this is very critical is because we want to make sure that we're also not targeted for scams where someone will reach out, we'll give them the code, they'll walk through the property by themselves and possibly take everything from us. It wouldn't be the first time and it certainly will not be the last that we are targeted as investors. That's why it's in our best interest to have a walker. Also, it gives your brand an elevated feel when someone is able to be able to open up the home, turn on all the lights, turn on the scent, put on a candle, whatever the case might be, walk a human through a home with another human. The human touch, the human element does not go unnoticed and brings a sense of comfort, no like a trust, um, elevates your brand rather than someone just walking by themselves and then having to message you back saying, I want this property. It also gives you a critical, critical, critical feedback that if there was two or three other homes available in that marketplace that they had walked and you happen to be on site and you have a question and you're able to answer it or an associate of yours is able to answer it on their behalf or take away a question on their behalf, it automatically feels like white glove service. It automatically feels like they have an actual team that's behind them, concierge service where their concern their needs are heard in real time and with that it gives them the peace of mind that should they stay at your property because we're talking about rentals for the three months or the four months or the five months whatever the case might be they can bet themselves that we are going to be there for them why because we were there from the very beginning we didn't just text you a smart lock code we didn't just send you the directions we were there on site with you willing to walk you that experience in itself goes a super long way and it's in your best interest for you to replicate the exact same experience that you can by simply leveraging a realtor there's a lot of realtors out there that will open up doors for you why because that's what they do for a living they do open houses they present homes they walk homes for their clients therefore they're qualified they're professional they will be professional when they show up there make sure you hire the right professional person when i say hire i use that word loosely it means literally Literally setting up a payment system like a Venmo or a Cash App, where after they walk the property through, you give them the feedback. They give you the feedback of what they need. Um, you can pay them right away, and they would be more than happy to do that because that's what they do for a living. They show real estate product presented to clients in a way that makes them feel right at home. Always ask who, not how. You don't have to be there and say it actually forces you being out of state to make sure you have the right who's in place. You do not make the mistake of not having the right who. Focus on the asset first. Once you've focused on the asset, smart locks are only for those who are booking directly on the Airbnb platform. Anybody else needs to walk the property, give you the green light that they're all okay, on board, ready to go so that they can then move forward. You can go ahead and get that contract signed, increase your occupancy, increase your profitability, increase the retention rate and level of loyalty because on the back end, you're gonna wanna make sure that you send them your Google review link where they're going to drop you a five star and thank you for the eloquent service because you've already raised the bar and you've already raised the standards that you are going to be there on a door-to-door -door service literally from the time that they walk the property from the time that they sign a contract and from the time that they check in to the time that they check out
Speaking of checking out, if you found value in this video, make sure you then check out the video that's called Boost Your Property in the one thing that sets other successful tours apart from others. You want to make sure you check that next.